everyone, this is April from my scrapbooking and craft journal and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to be working on video number 6 and we will be doing the swoop card on page 42 of your manual. We'll be cutting the card and the envelope. The envelope will be cut out in the blackout feature. We'll be doing the liner for the card, the liner for the envelope, also the frame for the card and the frame for the envelope. Um, this is going to be a really fun and quick uh, quick card, so we can go ahead and get started. I have already pre-cut everything, and I used 8.5 by 11 paper size, so when you feed it into your Cricut, um, you can just place the paper on top because I'm already giving you the measurements. So I've already gone ahead and scored all our lines, and I will be placing the liner in the inside of our envelope so we can go ahead and place that through I'll be gluing uh, that down I picked this particular color because it uh, coordinates with the cardstock that I used uh, for the envelope so we can go ahead and once you've already pre-scored all of your lines this is how it's going to look and it's actually a really cute envelope I like it. I really like this particular card. It's small, but yet it's adorable. Anyways, we can go ahead and glue down the sides. Once everything is glued, we can fold uh, the top closure. And there you have it. Our envelope is uh, pretty much done. All we have left to do is to um, put the frame in the back of it. So the frame is also cut out at three and three quarter inches. So we can place that and you can add the name of the person in the center of it. You can actually heat emboss the name in white if you like. Here we have the liner for the card and we have the frame for the card. And I used this Berry Street Farmer's Market um, paper stack. And let me tell you, this is one of the best um, one of my favorites. I, I love the designs that are in there. So I wanted to make this fun so I chose the um, strawberry uh, paper and you can see the back of it is uh, it's uh, like craft paper so you could either use either or. But um, since this is going to be um, a funky little card I said you know what I want to use the strawberry card um, paper. Anyways here we are I've glued down the liner for the card and now I'm gluing down the frame so I use the back end of the frame um, to place the back of the paper to place on top of our card so I want to add a little bit more detail and I used um, a stamp border stamp uh, and squiggly lines thought I thought would be uh, perfect for this and here's our Versa Magic chalk ink called uh, Spanish Olive and um, because the green coordinates um, nicely with the strawberry tops so I thought okay I can use that one and there you have it it's, uh, it's a funky little uh, squiggly lines making a border all around the edges and then using the same paper um, paper stack I thought I could cut out the strawberries a little strawberry pieces and place them on top of each other but before I go ahead and do that I'm inking up my sentiment that I'm going to uh, place in the middle of the opening. Once you stamp uh, your sentiment, you can do anything, thank you, thinking of you, happy birthday, whatever works best for you. And then with, uh, with the uh, dots, foam dots, I want to bring it up to give it more dimension. And you know me and uh, ribbon. I, I add ribbon and buttons to everything and glitter, but this particular card I'm not actually doing any buttons. But uh, I went ahead and uh, placed a, a really cute satin ribbon. It's a pretty color green and uh, made a tiny little bow. And there you have it, but I'm, I'm still quite not finished. I wanted to add some glitter to the bottom. So I went ahead and uh, used my Stickles glue, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Stickles glitter to uh, make another second uh, squiggly line underneath it to give it a little bit more um, a pizzazz to it. And there you have it, another finished card.
Thanks for watching another episode of the Wild Card Cartridge. Bye bye.